So this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the reading. This is going to be for April 8th until the 9th. So if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you would like a personal session at any point, check out the description. That information will be there and let's see what's going on. Taurus for April 8th until the 9th. Also, my birthday's April 9th, so definitely make sure you guys drop them happy birthdays in the comments. I'm going to be doing something special for you guys um, for my birthday and to celebrate us hitting 100K and also um, getting our YouTube plaque and getting verified on YouTube, which is a blessing. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it. So overall energy, we have the four of wands. Current energy, we have the tower. The challenge itself, we have the queen of pentacles. The advice is the ten of pentacles in reverse. And then the outcome is the moon card. Taurus. For April 8th through the 9th. Okay. So the first card that we have here, we have the four of wands representing the overall energy. So with the four of wands here, this is usually representing um, like a family unit. This is like a married couple. This is also like get togethers. So some of you could be throwing like a get together for this time frame. You could be having like a friend or a family member throwing like a party to celebrate their birthday or celebrate an accomplishment or a baby shower. Um, this could also be just the energy of like togetherness, like you and a, another person having the energy of closeness with each other. OK. Um, so during this time frame, you and your person could be, you know, getting a lot more cozy. You guys could be possibly looking at new properties to stay at, especially if there was like some sort of financial bonus in the household. Some of you may be even looking at possibly starting a family and getting pretty serious. There could even be a proposal that's coming up for my people out there who've been with their person for some time now. Hmm. Some of you, um, in terms of like creative projects, you this could be the energy of you finishing a major project like in your job or in your business. Hmm. This could also be, yeah, the energy of somebody around you getting married in your family, things like that. OK, um, now, when it comes to what I see for your current energy, we do have the tower here. So currently you could be feeling a little unstable in your own personal energy. This could be because you have like a lot of stuff going on around you. Um, there could be a lot of uncertainty somewhere in your life. So this could be uncertainty surrounding your, you know, job or uncertainty around like some sort of like source of income. It really could be anything, honestly, but this is you having a moment of realizing like, mm, maybe this situation isn't what it's all cracked up to be. Like this is a shakeup that happens that puts things in perspective for you. Um, and this is like abrupt. So this may have already happened already, or it's kind of on its way. But this is like just an indication that basically something is like old and worn out and it's time for you to get it out of your energy whatever the said thing is. Now, when it comes to the challenge during this time frame, I do have the Queen of Pentacles. So the challenge may be an earth sign, a Capricorn, a Taurus like yourself, or a Virgo, or you guys can be your own challenge during this time frame. And when I say that, this could be you standing in your own way in certain cases. Uh, knowing that you want to do certain things or knowing that you need to do certain things, but neglecting to do so. Um, some of you could be being stubborn in some cases and standing in your own way. Um, 
Some of you may have severe trust issues, and that may also be the issue here. Some of you are extremely career focused and you want love in your life, but you may be using like this independent role as a protection thing to keep you from getting too close to people and, and losing a sense of control. Hmm. Some of you also need to take care of your health. It's a lot of things I could run on forever with that card, but the advice here with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, um, there's a need for you to make sure that you're, for one, um, trying to work out your family unit as much as possible. And when I say that, this is like if you have a rough relationship with the mother of your children or the father of your children, looking at how you guys can better co-parent. If this is more of a relationship with your mother and father, that's like kind of soured. This is looking at the importance of that relationship because you only got one set of parents, okay? Um, also with the ten, uh, the ten of Pentacles in reverse, if any of you are going through any sort of like financial hardships and you're having a hard time securing a place, this is looking at what exactly can you do with the resources available. You may not be able to, you know, find a traditional place, but there is ways to work around your issues as of right now if you really, really tried. Now, when it comes to the outcome itself, I do have the moon card upright. Um, so this is you being in a space of mm, kind of possibly fear, being fearful of what's to come in the future. This could be you just like fixating on what's next, what's next, what's next, but not in a way of like optimism, more in a, a place of worry. Uh, this could also be you being really hard on yourself and expecting everything to, you know, be one way down the line and you could be needing to be more patient with yourself um you also will be having a lot of intuitive nudges come through in terms of any type of secrets you think that someone may be keeping from you now the last card it says i live a balanced life and um, it reads, everything in life requires balance, including what we categorize as work or play. By establishing equilibrium of all aspects in your life, you create a continuous flow of energy. Have the confidence that you can do it all while doing it well. And yeah, this is important that you guys are maintaining a balanced life, that you're not using the excuse of, oh yeah, I'm trying to get to the bag as an opportunity to be a workaholic. And also not using the excuse of self-care to also be lazy at the same time, okay? So definitely have more of a balance and prioritize that in all areas in your life, okay? So this is what I see. I hope you took something from this video. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe, check out the description if you want a personal, and I will see you in the next one.